I'm at a point of friction. My project has fun mechanics, but it isn't a game. Why is that? Hi, I'm Ben. I am a full-time game designer for a studio in the UK called Radical Forge. I've also previously worked on DLC for Zombie Army 4. I also work on my own game, Car Game. Feel free to subscribe if you're interested in game design or game development as a whole. Now, what makes my game fun? Drifting, action, and physics. I need to design gameplay that encourages the player to cycle through each of these fun mechanics. A gameplay loop. Drifting. I need reasons for the player to not drive in a straight line. Obstacles are an easy way of doing this. The speed boost also allows the player to do this at speed. Driving fast always feels fun. Action. Already, we have enemies that explode, barrels that explode, projectiles that explode, and a drift firing minigun. What else can we add? Environmental hazards could explode when you either attack them or collide with them. Maybe some weak enemy vehicles appear as faulty by smoking with a random chance of explosion. I also think that player upgrades would be a fun way of making the gameplay more diverse. More playstyles that the player can choose from. Physics. One thing that I personally liked in Car Game 1 was the fact that I had a lot of physics in that game. You could see a lot of objects flying at once and it felt really great to just smash through a bunch of boxes and cause a bunch of explosions with explosive barrels. Obviously I've already got the explosive barrels so adding the functionality for those to affect physics objects should be easy enough and then it will be a very similar feel to what we've already got in the first car game which I think we can really improve upon us in this game at least improving upon the version that I already had in the other version and that is being able to hit through objects which are already in the world so being able to go through fences being able to crash through any other props that we have would be a great start one thing that i've already done is i've created a list of games which share similar aspects to what i've got in my game or at least similar goals to what i want to achieve here's a few things that i have so far some of these shared aspects that are present in these games are things such as avoiding enemies vehicle combat or even getting player upgrades. Now that I've got a list of things that I like, I feel like I can really break this down to figure out what my gameplay is. So the things that I liked was allowing the player to collect an almost endless number of upgrades. Bosses that can be remembered and mastered, so the player can always have a strategy when it comes to defeating them. Think of like Binding of Isaac and all the bosses present in that. Lots of different weapons for the player to choose from, I think is gonna be important to make sure that the gameplay isn't boring. We need to make sure it's diverse and it isn't just the same thing on a loop because that would get a bit repetitive. One thing I also want to aim for is levels, which require the player to really plan their movement because this is a drifting action game. So being able to allow the player to drift around as many obstacles as they can and get proper routes in place would be quite a nice thing. I decided to design my game pillars around this. The game pillars are something which I've been missing previously, so getting this in place is something that's going to be really important in terms of design. The pillars that I decided on were drift-based action, powerful upgrades, and speedrunning. A drift-based action game with the intention of defeating enemies as fast as possible while becoming more powerful than ever through a variety of areas or levels. How does the game play from this? What's the gameplay loop? We need to figure out what the player is going to be doing overall. Step 1. Enter level in a cool way that links from the previous zone. Step 2. Drive around for a short while as enemies drive in. Step 3. Destroy all enemies. Step 4. Collect an upgrade. Step 5. If less than 4 waves have been defeated, return to point 2 where you'll do 4 other waves. Step 6 is on wave 5 defeat a boss. Step 7 is collect a stronger item and then step 8 is enter the next level while you'll be doing the same thing again. This sounds like a solid start and I need to get this in as soon as possible. Let's start with the level. For narrative reasons I wanted to set this level on farm. It needed to have enough open space for combat yet enough places for the player to actually drift around things and I think a farm is going to be a great solution to some of those things. It will have a lot of open space but it'll also have a lot of things to avoid as well. So hopefully it'll keep things interesting. I ended up on this design. I would say it took no time at all to get implemented in the engine, but that would be a lie as this took me weeks. Next, I'll need to focus more on getting the game loop implemented. In order to do this, I'll start at the beginning of the loop and work my way through it. I'll get this to a point until I can play through the game and get a full understanding of what the gameplay is gonna be like. After that, I'll need to start work on adding a boss fight and then maybe planning some future levels or opportunities for randomization. If you're liking this content, feel free to subscribe and please let me know what you think of the game in the comments. I'll see you next time.